back to the video format in which I will show you some cool tips, tricks and hidden features about smartwatches. Now in today's video we will talk about the Skagen Foster 6 smartwatch that was released just a few weeks ago and there's definitely a lot to discover about that one. So you probably already know a few things but in this video there's definitely one thing that you probably didn't know. Alright before we start with the video please hit the like button right now if you like my content also subscribe to my channel if you are new and click the notification bell to never miss out on any new tech videos. Okay one cool feature that not a lot of people use are the gesture controls. So you will find them in your settings and there are basically three different variations of them. So you got the usual tilt awake feature and touch the wake feature which are pretty common. But the third one is for the navigation on your watch. Right here we can toggle on wrist gestures once again of which we have three different variations. So by twisting your wrist one way you can scroll up on messages and in your app menu and by turning it the other way inwards which I cannot get used to it since it's a little hard for me to do. You can scroll down on your messages. With the third one you can exit out of your current app and get back to the home screen and basically all you have to do is to shake your wrist and that's basically all the gestures you have. Up to some notifications and your messages. So you probably already know that you can reply to stuff like WhatsApp, Instagram and SMS in many different ways. Either by using one of the quick reply answers, you can send a whole bunch of different emojis, use the speak to dictate feature and you can type on a little keyboard you have. And that's the point where I want to get to. So you can not only type but you can also swipe from letter to letter in order to write the word. Now in my case it was already pre-installed on my watch but there are some cases in which you have to install the Gboard app first which you can download for free in the Google Play Store app. Now I would really recommend using this type of typing since it's a lot faster than all of the other ones. So you can actually use the mic as well in order to use the speak dictate feature but that one is not that reliable since background noise will always get in the way but it's still a good option. By the way you can also change the notification previews in your settings so you have to head over to your settings and app notifications and right here you can set it on always show, briefly show and never show. Before we get to some other cool features let me hit you with some quick tips and one of them is that you can actually take screenshots of your current watch face but we do need our smartphone for that. So open up the Wear OS app, click the three little buttons on the top right corner and right here we can select take a screenshot. Now just go to your gallery app and open the picture to send it to anyone you want to. The next feature is good especially for anyone that has a bad eyesight. In the accessibility settings of your watch you can toggle on magnification gestures. Once you've done that you can always triple tap your screen to zoom in and zoom back out to read your letters or your messages a little bit better. As well as I will show you how to change your ringtone just in case you don't like your current one and it's actually pretty easy and simple. Just open up your sound settings and scroll all the way down until you see watch ringtone. And right here you have a few different ringtones to choose from. Oh and as you can see you don't always have to swipe up and down on the screen since you have a rotatable middle button on this watch as well to do so. One of the more obvious features that you have on this watch are the four different battery modes that you can choose between to save a little bit more of your battery life. So you can switch it to the watch only mode which turns all of the features this watch has to offer off and you'll only see the time. You have the daily mode in which your battery life lasts about 24 hours or maybe a little bit longer depending on your usage. You have the extended mode which turns off a fixed set of features to make your watch last a few days and as well as you have the custom mode. Right here you can choose which features you want to have toggled off or which features should be toggled on. By the way if you're planning on saving as much battery life as possible I would highly suggest turning off the always in display mode since this one kills your battery life and instead turn on the raise to wake or touch the wake feature. That would help a lot. Up to a feature that I get asked about a lot which is the off my music. So on the Skagen Fossil 6 you can download apps such as YouTube Music and Spotify. So I don't know about YouTube Music but on Spotify you can download all of your favorite playlists, tracks and podcasts right to your watch. Now keep in mind that you will need to have a Spotify premium account in order to do so and your watch has to be connected to your Spotify account of course. But after that you can just listen to your music on your watch or which is my preferred way your earbuds. Alright guys we are close to the end but if you didn't know you can customize your watch faces. So by long pressing on your home screen you get to your watch faces and right here click on the little button below the watch face to customize. From right here depending on which watch face you are on you can change the colors of the background and your hands and choose which app shortcuts you want to have. It is super easy and simple to do. By the way you can also customize your upper and lower button on this watch as well and connect them to any of your pre-installed apps 
as well for a quicker access. For example, my lower button is connected to an NFC and my upper button is connected to my wellness app. One question I get asked a lot about is how to activate Google Voice Assistant without pushing any buttons or anything like that. In order to do so, we have to swipe right on our screen and scroll all the way down until we get to the Voice Assistant settings. And right here, we can toggle on the OK Google feature. So now whenever we say OK Google, it opens our Voice Assistant. And as you may know, we can do a whole bunch of things with that. We can start workouts, make phone calls, do some simple calculations. And the thing that I use the most is to set a timer. So overall, a great smartwatch. But you definitely have to see my whole review about the Skagen Fossil 6 if you want to know more about the accuracy of the Bitten GPS, of the health tracking features and some specs. Just click that video right here. And now, all that's left to say is see you next time. Peace.